All right, NAT 136 operating systems. We had an issue today accessing the, um, having the users be able to access their local directories um, via the web server. We had a couple students with a problem. Um, let me go through where the issue occurs. Okay, so <clears throat> first thing. ETC HTTPD, we go to that directory, we take a look at the files there. <clears throat> I made a backup of this file, <clears throat> and then this file I went and did a CAD on. And then look at right here, this line right here. So what it's going to do, it's going to look at everything with a C O N F. And it's going to include those. See that star? So it's that directory. And then the star, right? Wildcard matching means any file. So it's going to do an include. Okay? So what that's going to do is that's going to send it to that directory. Well, then here's that directory, now in red. Okay? And then I did a long listing. I picked one of the students who was having trouble. And here's the issue. This file is still a CONF. See it there? So it's going to include that one, irregardless of what the name is. And for some reason, it doesn't use the one they want it to use, the student. So what I did... I renamed the file. Right? I took a use to move, took this file, and I put the backup here at the end so now it's not a dot conf file. It's not a dot conf. So this one is ignored. Okay? And so now that file's ignored. This is the file that's used, and this file has the changes in it. So, I made that adjustment, so I had to restart the service. And it went from forbidden... You notice know, now it's it's forbidden. Before it was um, couldn't find the file, so now it went to forbidden. Now it's a permission issue. Change context. Now it's working. This information is in the outline. And you'll have to scroll down a ways to get to it. That's it.